Hey there, thank you for watching my video. So if you're me and you've been looking around for how to actually replace the lens for this SJ Cam M10, then you probably are in the right place. So the, the main reason why I wanted to replace the stock lens is that they don't actually look good um, with how the outfit is. So I've heard a lot from SJ Cam um, S4000, I believe so. Um, they typically use the same um, everything, mostly everything is the same with M10 for the SJ um, Cam 4000, S4000, I believe so. So, um, it's gonna be quite easy. Um, all we need is the replacement lens from a GoPro 1, 2, 3. Um, it's a 170 degree um, view angle, so it, definitely, it will definitely help us um, have a wider view when we are taking our videos especially for motor vlogging and um, quite significant um, improvements with how it is being taken and i'll show you a side by side comparison later on so let's go ahead and open this up um first we need to tear this down and by doing so um there's going to be some two screws at the back of the um, battery bay but um this is the lens that i got uh, from shopee or you can either get it from some other place and um, yeah let's go ahead and tear this down uh, first we'll just go ahead and open up the battery bay and from there there will be two screws here um, if you can see they're just right below the battery I'm currently pulling out the battery so um, we don't want to be working with the battery on so once that's pulled out you'll see two screw holes there I've already taken them off um, all you have to do is just remove those two screws and we can open up the front part of the camera and it's just as quick and easy as that way all right now we can now see the interiors of the camera um, ap apart from removing those two screws you are all set to go now um, in this case because we are able to like have full access of the lens itself and what we need to do is just put this um, Wi-Fi antenna out of the way for a bit and you would notice that on the camera lens mount itself there are some glue if you can see it now what we need to do first is to peel this off and by peeling this off we are able to remove the lens itself so it's just quite easy you can just get a flat screwdriver and slowly peel them away in my case I use a Phillips screw but the whatever pointed object you have you can use and just scratch away or peel away those old um, glue there up until we are able to fully remove them and also remove the lens so let's go ahead and do so All right, so we're able to remove the residue and by doing and for us to know exactly that it's working or it has been completely removed so just go ahead and turn the lens in a counterclockwise um, movement and you would notice that it will screw it will unscrew and um, all you have to do is just unscrew it up until you completely remove the lens All right, now you're seeing the camera sensor itself, uh, image sensor or camera sensor. Um, make sure that you are not going to be touching it or there are no way that there's going to be dust um, going to like fall into it because that's going to affect the overall quality of your video once we're able to return back the new um, lens. So as you can see here, this has a smaller, um, actually the stock um, aperture of our SJ Cam um, M10 is quite bigger compared to the GoPro that we're going to be using. So the GoPro lens that we're going to be using is having a small aperture, which is good. And um, I'm going to go ahead and show you a comparison of how they actually look like. So, um, so this GoPro replacement um, lens actually came with a cover for the lens. So 
uh, protection for example and as you can see here the GoPro lens actually is a bit um, thicker compared to the stock SJCAM N10 um, lens um, you can see it there on the top side there you go and at the bottom you would notice that they are oh, I'm sorry about that all right as you can see here the lens are almost identical but here at the bottom you will notice that they are different and you notice that there is a big difference a slight difference with the aperture of both lenses now let's go ahead and set aside the stock one and let's go ahead and thread this in through our SJ cam now please do not force the lens threading through the camera um, it has to be perfectly fitted and um, you will know because there is no obstruction or nothing else not stopping you from screwing it all the way but if it does just go back and then try to find that perfect spot that you can easily turn it in through the camera okay now this is as soon as you're able to um, wind everything for the cam for the new lens um, this is not where, where we're going to be ending because what happens is we're going to need to manually focus the lens itself now i will show you go i will show you how in a minute and how to focus it um, it's going to be manual so it's going to be uh, we're going to need to like unwind or unscrew and screw tight or untighten the, the lens up until we get the correct focus all right so let's go ahead and do so i'm just gonna put this um, wi-fi antenna um, away for a bit and i'll go ahead and turn on the camera all right perfect now let's go ahead and turn on the camera and as soon as it opens you will notice that everything is all blur there you go now I we are not able to see anything it's completely blurred out so what we're gonna do is manually focus our lens and by doing so we need to either tighten the screw of the lens or like unscrew it until it's uh, loosened so let's go ahead and do our thing here all right and uh, hopefully after this it's gonna be focused It's going to take about a few trial and errors, but as soon as you are able to see it starting to clear out, then you're almost there. So what you need to do now is try to do your best to see if it's all focused um, first up front or you're looking at the object and then try to see if you can adjust it um, by looking farther away. Um, you will notice that it's not um, actually focused at the farthest way um, when I'm going to be doing a test because um, by the time I took a test I didn't notice right away that the image or the the focus wasn't as focused as it should be for farther shots it was mainly focused on the what was in front of me so let's go ahead and test this out all right and uh, okay so there you go all right now once you are able to set the focus that you are looking into like sorry the up front and the, at, at the farthest away area as far as away as you can uh, it's already all focused now you can just use our glue gun here and uh, secure the threads this is to make sure that your lens won't be moving anytime soon when you're doing when you're using it for vlogging or for writing or any outdoor um, activities that could actually remove it from focus so this is the way and if in case that it's already out of it's out of focus it's quite easy to be removed rather than using super glue so use glue gun or yeah, glue gun itself uh, it will be a lot easier for us to go back and um, make some adjustments and um, once you're done with that all you have to do next is return back the cover uh, put back the screws and do a test and let's see what's going on and let's see how it 
compares to the old one, old stock camera lens and with the new one. All right, so we're almost done putting back the covers. Uh, what's next is we're gonna go writing, compare it to the old stock footage that we have. All right, hope you enjoyed. Thank you.